Okay. I probably should lock my door, which I'm going to do right now. Anyways, hey guys, it's me. There we go. Hey guys, it's me. Um, the next episode's not gonna come for a while. Um, but while I'm going to put a commentary for episode two, let's do it. Anyways, the song is. I don't know. What's up? Anyways, this is the only time Patricia's voice sounds the way it does. Woohoo. But seriously, in all seriousness, like, I've given comments like, Ilya scary, Ilya scared me, great voice actor. Yes, she does have a great voice actor. And yes, I do plan on having her appear again. And I'm going, and, uh, Patricia was just an introduction. Like, she, like, even though Link and Pat are their guardians, Lion and Patricia's. Patricia, Patricia's guardians. Patricia is how it's pronounced. Yes, but like even though Lion and even though Pat and Link are their guardians, Pat and Link don't really do a good job on it. They're more like freedom. They, cause the kids won't get into any trouble. They know, so they just allow them to pretty much do whatever they want as long as it's legal. It's pretty much all they do. So they really. They really don't care. So that's why they spend more time away from home than they are at home. And why Patricia, that's why Patricia's opened up, opening scene is her wandering around by herself, talking to me. Because Patricia doesn't really understand, you know, she's, she's really, so Patricia's really one of those innocent girls that doesn't understand what she did is when she does something wrong. One of those cute little kids, you know? Which is why I, I wanted her to sound really cute and innocent, because the voice really captures that. And, yes, I will plan on Ilya appearing, but Ilya will not really be a villain. But she's not going to be a hero, either. she's more so going to be a supporting character in general. She'll, like, help either side, as long as she gets something out of it. And she's really just... I mean, Patricia has never really met Lucas, per se, but officially... Which is why Lucas says that in the first episode that he's never met her officially. So, yeah. And yes, I did intend Amelia to sound really creepy, like the stalker type of girl. And yes, I didn't really direct anything, but I felt like putting that there because I think it worked. I thought it worked. And, okay, I'm just going to answer this right now, right here. I don't plan on doing another voice acted series. I'm gonna say that right now. There will, I mean, I plan on it, but maybe sometime in the future. But right now, I don't plan on doing another voice acted series. It's too much, too much to handle and everything, just to get that out of the way. Cause I know there are gonna be questions. That, Do you plan on doing another voice acted? I mean, sure, sure. This is. I mean, I don't plan on doing another voice acted series. I mean, too much work for me. I could have like four stories done by now, I think. Probably, probably not. I don't know. But, um, anyways, they're not gonna be as, as many uploads because I have to like watch my little brothers hope they don't kill each other. And enough. That's pretty much it. There's not gonna, there might be another voice exit. I'm not promising anything. I'm just not promising anything. That's pretty much it. So, you guys got any questions of me? Any questions about the series? Any questions about anything? Just comment about it or something. I don't know. Just post a comment asking a question. I will answer it in the next commentary. Bye.